Good morning everybody, this is Karen. This is a video to explain file types, how you can open them, how you can add files to your library and stuff like that. Uh, Mima in the Silhouette for Beginners group is having problems opening SVG files that she purchased from Miss Kate Cuttables. So I'm going to show you what it looks like for me on the Mac side and then what it looks like for me on the Windows side. On the Mac side, um, I already opened this file testing earlier. If I click the open icon on the top left side of my screen, it displays all file types for me, whether it's an SVG file, an MTC file, which is make the cut, an S cut file, which is, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for scal from scal, made by scal. Let's see what else could be here. There's a WPC file, which is win PC sign format. Um, I'm sure if I had Adobe Illustrator files in here, they would show up as well. Just having a quick look. Cut, I believe, is the older version. Oh, no, that's a Cricut file. So that's how it is when I look at this on the Mac side. So that's how I was able to open up the cat um, image, no problem. I just click the open folder and here's my image. So remember that when you open up SVG files, you may not, in fact, I'm pretty sure you're just not going to have cutting lines right away. You need to enable them. You need to go to your cut style window up at the top right side of your screen, click that button, have your image selected and then click cut. And now you see this is not working. I'm wondering why this image is not working. Um, oh, there it is. I don't know why. Every once in a while things don't seem to work. Click off the option, click it again, and then it's going to be fine. Now you can see that there's a bright red outline of my cat. So if I go on my Windows side, I've got Silhouette Studio installed here as well. Clicking the same open icon doesn't do the same thing. It only shows studio files. And if you look down here, files of type, it says studio. I need to click this down arrow to di display all the other file types that it's able to open. And I can click all files and then it shows me all the files that I've got there. And I believe that this is also what I can use to display images. I'm just going to go to my Dropbox folder, screenshots. No. I guess I also, yeah, I also need to click that down arrow button to display JPEG files if I want to open them. There we go. So then once you have, I'm going to go back to the Mac side. Once you've opened up a file, if you want to add it to your library, all you need to do is click File, Save to Library. Remember that when you do that, it won't be an SVG file anymore. You'll be saving it as a studio file. And this is only in your library. It's not, you're not going to see it on your hard disk. So I'm going to give it a file name of Black Cat. I'm going to add keywords. Black cat, for example, then I'll add cat, I'll add animal, and it might be used for Halloween, so I'll add that as well. Give it a description. It's a silhouette of a black cat. The category is just a regular cut, and I'll click OK. Then when I go look at my library, you're not going to see it in the tab called My Library. You have to go look at My Own Designs. And that's where you're going to find it. And if you want to put it into the tab that's called My Library, you need to drag it over there. I want to save it to my library. I click Save to Library. I'll add the same keywords over here. The 
category is a regular cut. I'll click OK. And then when I go look at my library in my own designs, <laughs> I called the flower a black cat. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention to that. Um, but now, if I go and look in my library and I search for black cat, it's going to show me my flower because I did that wrong. I'm going to delete this image because that's obviously not right. But it works the same way on the Windows side. So I hope that's been helpful to you. Thank you very much for watching.